What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old end. You already know what it is, and I'm back at y'all with another conversation with another individual that you may or may not know. Uh, if you don't know, you're gonna know after this one. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Introduce yourself to the people, who you are, where you from. I'm China Loco from West Side Rolling Foley Avenue Crip, Los Angeles, California. Crenshaw right, the Fig. Right. Crenshaw the Fig, as Poe actually would say. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, this has been a long time coming, man. We've been, I always tell my subscribers when they be asking me uh, to get certain people on. Um, a lot of people been telling me to get a female on to give their perspective. And I think I told a few people that I had you on mine on one of my lives or whatever. But here we are. Better late than never. So we're going to start from the beginning. Um, when were you born? If, if you don't care to, you know, some people don't like to. I was born 1974, 49, 50 soon, feel 22, God is good. 1974. And, and when you was born, uh, did you go straight to the 40s or did you move around? I came from the hospital to the 40s. Been there ever since. Born and raised. A real one. Uh, what street specifically, or what part of the 40s? In the Avenue, 2nd Ave, 43rd, 42nd, in two blocks. Right. That's across Vernon and King Boulevard, however which way you want to come. Right. And, right uh, there, born and raised. You, you, you got any siblings, or? I got one sibling, I got a brother, the oldest, only girl. Only girl for father, and I'm my mother, only girl. You the oldest. So. But I'm my father, only child. Me and my brother got two different fathers. Oh, okay. Got the same mother. All right, so, um, did, did, did he jump off the porch too, or that was just you? Did no, he live a different went, life? My grandmother raised me, and my mama raised him. Two separate households. And where did he grow up at? Oxnord. Ventura. Oh, all right. I mean, you know, they, they, they got something he going on in bang. Oxnard, too. He don't gang bang. Right. So, you grew up in the 40s. So, that's a, that's a whole different life than what he probably experienced. Um, Pretty much. What schools did you attend? I went to 42nd Elementary from kindergarten to the 6th grade. I went to Audubon, and I graduated from Crenshaw, 91. So, uh, and that's facts. <laughs> like she about to start. That's facts. <laughs> hey, born and raised, raised in the soil, didn't come from nowhere else. So, uh, who who's some of the people that you went to elementary school and middle school with from around your area and and possibly even other areas? Like, if you care to name some. Um. I went to elementary. I oh, see all my big homies. They're a little older than me, but you know, from kindergarten to sixth grade, everybody stayed. Um, one of my day ones, my boy. Shout out to my boy, baby Kendall. Elementary. Um, my boy Howell. Elementary. Um, let me see. So many names I could just say. You you um, ain't got to name them all if you don't. Cause it's a lot. Right. It's well, the, the reason why I'm asking that is because I want to know what influenced you besides going to school and living in the area. Because there's a lot of people that live in the areas that we come from that choose not to join the gang, even though the majority do. So who had an influence on you? And what year do you think that you started to feel like you wanted to be a part of the 40s? Um, I've been off the porch for a long time. Like 88, 87. That's teenager for me. Right. Um, back then, me coming up, to me, it was like fun because everybody was doing it. Everybody went to schools. Like, as soon as I opened my door, my block was a block. Everybody came and hung at. Shout out to my boy, Lil Spade. Rest in peace. His house was the house where that's where you can go. So, you know what I'm saying? To me, my hood like family. 
because we all from kids grown now so i look at hood like as family not just homie family we parents know each other down the street up the street around the corner like you know that love so back then it was fun for me i ain't gonna lie just thinking i was grown outside doing what i wanted to do granny I was at work I knew to have my ass in that house at a certain time for sure. So I had a lot of leeway to do what I wanted to do. I had uncles. They was in the streets doing what they couldn't monitor me. They tried to, but they was too busy trying to get their money in the streets and do what they was doing. And I'm over here talking about foldies and thinking I'm grown. Right. But, you know. Did, did your uncles bang? I got an uncle from the hood, Nasty Nate. He in his early 60s. I got cousins from the hood. So, yeah, I got a lot of cousins from the hood. So, it's safe to say that's where the influence came from. It was really family-oriented. Just being outside, seeing what I'm seeing, just wanted to do what I wanted to do. Because my granny for sure didn't raise me like that. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Like, right. curious. Right, and that's the thing. People be always trying to blame it on the parents or whatever. But at the end of the day, we all got our own minds and we all gonna do what we want to do no matter how we was brought up for you know, some reason you know you know what's crazy as a little and it's a true story facts as a little girl like on a big wheel little girl my block was the block where homies always came on these was grown ass men and i used to try to run my ass across the street they used to send me away for a long time I Dang, I think I'm not gonna hang out. It. I was trying to really like stand and hang by these grown ass men. I was a little ass kid, and they'd be like, "I'm gonna go tell your granny," and I'd be like, "I don't give a," and putting the middle finger like. And to this day, people see me be like, "I'm just a snotty ass little girl on that big wheel." You was, and I was like, and I laugh because I remember it. Like they not lying. I remember that shit. But yeah, they used to run me off, get away from us, and all that type of shit. So be looking at them like they was weird and shit. Right, and they looking at you like you weird. Like, man, what you doing over here? All the time. Shout out to my boy Bobcat. He used to uh, mix for LL Cool J. He used to make noise every single day with that DJ shit. So I used to watch them go over there and shit for so many years. Like, okay, I know them too, and I'm a little ass girl. So it's safe to say you was fascinated with with the street life in general, like. And then having the influence of family members too. I'm just watching and just want to be grown. So, you said you jumped. I soaked up. up a lot of game from that though. Just of watching. course, of course. I soaked up a lot, a lot of game from that. So, so tell me, um, what was what was the atmosphere like, and what was the forties like in the late eighties when you jumped off the porch? What 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 was that? whole just just give me a rundown on what was going on what was it like day by day living in the gloves me coming outside seeing what i seen a lot of 40 cripping everybody thought they was grown now that i think about it now they was kid young back then a lot of hustling a lot of love um a lot of hustling a lot of hustling gang banging Fighting, um, that type of shit. Getting jacked up by the police. That's when the police was really jacking them up. That's when they had a, uh, what's that called? When they used to uh, knock down the houses? With the Bat around? Boom. They, that was when um, drug, when crack cocaine came out. That's what I'm saying. That was in, uh, we talking about well, the 80s. We well, talking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. But you had the guys that was gay begging. Really ain't probably getting no money like that because they young, just outside. And then the ones that was really getting money like that. You can see the big chains, the silk shirts. I remember as a kid, everybody wearing Gucci and Louis. That stuff been out. Right. That stuff been out. They was wearing that when I was in junior high school. You had to be getting some change back then to wear that type of stuff back then. Oh yeah, the uh, girls was wearing that big Turkish chain with right. the with the Cadillac sign or the band sign. And I and I gotta take 
I gotta take this time out to shout out my homie Lil CS from East Dago my Bodies. Uh, he got the pictures. He he posts them all the time. He had a he had a Gucci shirt in high school back in '86. They had chains. They had low riders. All that in the '80s. They had the 5.0s. Yeah, 5.0s, all Beans, that. Benz is, yeah, yep. They Benz had all is, that. The old school Benz is. Yep. Shout out to my boy E Money, rest in peace. I was a young kid talking about, you got 50 cents, you got a dollar. He was a rolling around in, 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 in the Benz. Is, police killed him years ago. Damn. Shout out to E Money. So, you said you went to Otto, Otto, Audubon? Audubon Junior High School. What was that like? Fun. You was already banging at that time? Seventh grade. I was trying to. Seventh, eighth grade. I was banging 40s. Now, now, do y'all share that school with anybody? Yes, we share that school. Back then, we shared that school with the Bloods, the BPSs. And what was that like? They used to be fighting. Even kids that didn't go there no more come up there after school. You know how that goes. Yeah, because they know it's some action. That's how Gompers was in the hood. And niggas just know you can go up there and get some action. And now that I'm 49 years old and I just sit back and think, I'm like, damn, these are straight kids. Like, everybody thought they was grown. You didn't know how to pay a light bill or nothing, try to be grown. Right. Everybody had a curfew coming outside like they was adding <laughs> on you from the take your ass in the house. Next day, you might see a kid, they got whips on them. Mama done fucked them up with a belt. Mm -hmm. Me. Now. Being from that side of the hood, obviously y'all closer to the BPSs. So what would that have been like? Would you say that was like the main uh, uh, rival for that side of the hood? Since they right there on the other side of Crenshaw? Yeah, and the VNGs, the Van Ness, I guess they Van Ness gangsters, the Van Ness. <laughs> Did y'all... Did you stay in that part of the hood or did I mean not stay as far as live but like did you Venture off to other parts of the hood back then. Yeah, I done ventured all around there as far as own place pay rent You know, yeah, I had a few spots around there All right, so what year did you get to Crenshaw? What year did I what? What year did you get to Crenshaw High? What year did I get to Crenshaw High? So if I graduated in 91. Graduated in 91. You got 90, there about 88. 80, 80, I was going to say, hey, I was going to say 89. 89? 89, 90, 91, yeah. 10, 11, 12th grade, yeah. Because I graduated in 91. You, you graduated when they killed Ricky, huh? You went to school with Ricky. What, Ricky? Nigga, boys in the hood. I'm messing with you. Oh, I didn't know him, but I went to that that when they had that that uh, video they did on Chris. I went to that with boys in the hood. I got to see a little. Oh, scene. they was filming over there. Yeah, they filmed on Crenshaw. Oh yeah. And my uncle, my uncle Nancy came in the house. Was like, they filming on Crenshaw. You want to go? I was like, hell yeah. Just went with him, so I got to see a little scene. He was actually so. So they scenes. filmed in Crenshaw. The part of Crenshaw that runs through the hood because Crenshaw is a long street for the people who don't know. Yes, they filmed that on. Uh, they filmed the scene that I'm talking about when they was all hanging out on Crenshaw like they do now in the low riders. That was on Crenshaw between King Boulevard and 39th. Mm. Yeah. All right. So that's still a thing. Yeah, it's been like that for years. Right, right. I mean, it's the it's same in Dago. Right, we, still, we still, we still got the same spots. It ain't as prevalent as it was back in the days when everybody had a low rider, but it still exists. If you want to go up there, I got shorts of that on my channel. They <laughs> I pop up to them in vids every blue moon. But that's dope. I didn't know they filmed it right there. Yes, they uh, did. Yeah. So so what was Crenshaw like going there? Crenshaw was fun. It was fun to me. Once again, everybody thought they was grown. And they wasn't in Crenshaw. That's a fashion show to me. You know, everybody was got to come fresh. So you know, I was I was real real fresh. I was already getting my own clothes. I didn't she, like hey, the clothes my granny was trying to buy. Hey, she ain't lying, man. If y'all can see the rest of this place right here, man. Mm -mm. <laughs> I ain't. I can't do it. I'm just Look saying if y'all could. You. I'm just saying she. she <laughs> hey, she very high uh, maintenance. <laughs> you know, hey, look at you. She got 20 pillows on the couch, uh, girl. Uh. <laughs> 40 pillows. <laughs> yeah. 
Nah, but um, so it was a fashion show. Obviously, it was uh, Gang Bang Central. Uh, who all went up there besides the 40s and the 60s? Who else was there? When I was there, the 40s, the 60s, uh, a few East Coasts that I could remember. And I wasn't a ditcher. I went to school. All right, so. Uh, and I was China back then, too. Oh, that being your name from the game. How you get that name? China Loco, because I look like a little, a little porcelain dog. I'm getting older now, but back then my eyes was way more jinkier. I looked like a little China dog, like China. And I'm the only China. No little homie? No. They don't make them like me no more. I don't even think, no. Nah. Look, she popping her shit. She got the green eyes like me too. You just, y'all probably can't see them. It's my twin. Oop, not the twin. <laughs> nah, not but the uh. Twin. So um, you said it was the 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 sixties and the East Coasts, and, 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 and what 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 was the relationship with with the forties and the sixties back then? Shit, that was like tight. like cousins, yeah. Yeah, yeah go to all the parties. Games, just have games, parties. Everybody went to school, elementary. Like we knew each other by first and last names. Did Did y'all have to worry about rival hoods coming up there to fight y'all at school? Was that a thing, or was y'all too deep and niggas knew not? That too, yeah, yeah. that too. But back then it was always, you know, how that go. It was always some type of fighting, some type of something. And the reason why I'm asking you that is because. I noticed that Crenshaw is technically located in the VNGs, or they behind the school. They they close enough. You know what? To tell the truth, because I always ask myself, it's so close to where I always consider all that shit the hood. I don't even know how them. I don't even know how them dudes is even really right there like that. What they all surrounded, just that little portion of street. They only got like a street. Shit, they had to be putting in work to be honest to be if well, they, sure they to be surrounded yeah. and, and, and still have a presence to this day. We got to give credit where credit is due. I'm just saying, and and and, and it's like this: like Gompers in our hood on 47 the Hilltop, it was always majority Damus at that school because they didn't have a middle school. So you're gonna have the the Lincoln Parks, the Brims, the Emerald Hills, the Low Africa Power Rules. They're going right there, so they outnumbered us at that school. So it sounds like y'all outnumbered the VNGs if they went there at okay, all. Okay, okay. Well, far as the VN, they little area where they at, I would think that would have been the six souls right there. So that's something they would have to deal with. We way down some some lights. Right. Our hood is so big, we ain't even tripping about that little area right there where they got, like, right. they're more closer to the 6 so I'm sure right. they got history with them more as kids growing up and who know who or so. So you, so y'all didn't go to school with them? Like, as far Me as, like, elementary? I didn't, no. No. I didn't go to elementary with no VN. No, not at all. They got their own school and they own where their houses at. Like, no. Didn't know VNs go to Forty uh, Second. If they went to Audubon, I didn't know nothing about it. They wasn't claiming it because I will remember that. I remember all the way from elementary, so I remember that. I know some VNs though. Did I didn't it, go to did, school with none. Did any Harlem's go there? Yes, they went to. Yes, they did. Because kid people was getting kicked out of schools back then, and then you got to go to this school. So yeah, yeah, it was Harlem's there. It was at Audubon, too. Carlos was at Audubon. I remember that. Shout out to the Harlems. I love from Harlem. Went so, to school with them. So, where would you have to stay in the hood to where your, your school would be Dorsey instead of Crenshaw? Because Dorsey ain't too far either. No, and it's crazy that you say that because from where I was raised at, and from where Dorsey at, that's the same area code. As far as your zip code, they got the same zip code. And they still send that you That 9008 shot. zip code. That runs all the way to the jungles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, 
you graduate 91. Like I said, that's the year Boys in the Hood came out. By this time, you got a you got a lot of uh, West Coast rap making noise at this time. What what was it like? What was it like in that era living it? Once again, I wasn't I wasn't grown yet. Like ninety one, I had just turned eighteen, so I was still like just my, my birthday just came, but I was still young and care myself, just enjoying life. Once again, just doing what I wanted was fun. Everything was fun to me back then. I didn't right. really have no worries. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was raised in a house. So granny always worked. I got to do what I wanted to do. It was fun. I got I gotta ask you a question and you 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 might not really remember like that, or you might not have uh the best knowledge of it, but I gotta ask you. Excuse me. What what do you remember was going on over in the dark side at that time? Because I know it was another hood over there in the in the eighties at that time. Was you hearing about them taking over that part of the hood? Far as who? The, the... As far as the Fodies taking over the faux trade. The faux yeah, trade they took that shit over. I'm saying what year do you remember like when motherfuckers was like, that's us. For sure, that's us now. They gone. I don't remember what year, but they took that shit over. Right. That's all that matters. Right. They took that shit over. And here we are today. Right. Crenshaw the feet. They took that shit. They did that shit. I feel it. Um. So you graduate. What, 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 what happened after that when you graduated? Like, was there... Did you did you get locked up? Was you just outside thugging? Was you working? I, I know I was, you didn't have a kid yet at the time. We'll get to all. that. I was outside off the porch hustling. I was hustling. I was hustling. I thought I was hella grown. But I learned at an early age to be responsible. To be responsible. I've been responsible. Young, just where you think that came from? My granny, she used to always say, "Don't depend on nobody." She used to watch me and ask my uncles, "Let me get five dollars." And if they told me they didn't have it, how my I think the expression on how my face looked bothered her. Right, that you got disappointed. Yeah, and she used to always tell me, "Don't depend on nobody." And now that I'm grown, I see what that lady was talking about. Right. Shout out to my granny, ninety years old, still living. Wisdom game, like the blessings. And, and, and we blessings. and we gonna we gonna take a trip over there too next time. Raises blessings. Right. My granny raised me like a mama, daddy, all that, all that in one. On, on, on everything I love. So pretty much, she taught you how to be uh, uh financially, yeah, yeah. Like, don't depend on nobody. Go get it yourself. And that's how it is, you know. Uh, in the black community, with these older uh, black people, they they come from a different era, so they gonna install them type of morals in you, and that's dope. Like you said, ninety years old and still alive, man. That's why I said still we alive and got all her morals. Right. I could call her right now on the phone and put her on speaker. Be like, Granny, do it. Just call her. Call her. Hey, call her and 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 have her tell a story about you when you was young, a young China. <laughs> yeah, nah, you said I could call her, so I'm going to put you I on the can, spot. And I, and, and I could do that. <laughs> I just don't know if she's ready for that. Mm. She's like, why are you calling asking me? Like, right, I could right, get right. a little conversation up out of her. Right, yeah, she, I feel you, my grandma. She might take it to somewhere else, though, and I might not want. Right, 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 right. I feel yeah, it. And I don't like, do no editing, like I said. Uh, I feel you, my grandma, like, 86. She close to 90. That's a blessing. I want to live to get that old like that, right. too. Right. Right. Um. What Boosie say, we all going to die. You going to die. He funny. Shout out to Boosie Badass. Right, right. Yeah, for he sure. You going to die. You going to be for sure. <laughs> that shit was funny. So now, like I said, you graduate. We in, we into the, the, the early 90s. Um. 
like what, what's going on besides you hustling like who who was outside can you give me a roll call or who you was who was you hustling with who was outside what what was going on okay. i'm trying to paint a picture for the viewers that's not from out here it was a whole bunch of people outside but everybody was doing their own thing moving in their own lane in their own little circle like me i was by myself when i was outside right what i was doing i was by myself after that to the hood, outside hanging, like, um, so many names. My boy, Big Ken, Lil Ken, Baby Ken, Lil Bug, Big Bug, um, Big Spank, um, a lot of these dudes, rest in peace, um, Lil Stone, Big Stone, these some real names, like, Shout out to all of them. Rest in peace. One still here. All the homies in doing time. Keep your head up. Have faith. God is still good. Just live life. A lot of people just need to stop taking life for granted. When I say stop taking life for granted, I think this world will be a little bit better. It's like everybody just living in life. They really don't know their purpose. They just wake up and they just hear. And they just go with the day and the flow. In this cold, evil-ass world. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I I could say I was one of the people who felt like that. Everybody didn't take life for granted. I didn't take life for granted. I don't want to take life I, for I, granted. I feel like this. This right here. This platform. I think this is my calling. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why I've been pressing. How I've been pressing with this channel. Um, but yeah, so... You was hustling. Now, what does that consist of? Because to me, you 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 a versatile person. For me, hanging out with you or or chopping it up with you, you know what I mean? What 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 is hustling? What was you doing, man? Shit, was you I pimping holes or what? What was you doing, man? I had my hand in this cookie jar, that cookie <laughs> jar, this cookie jar. You know, I had like four five hustle at one time. Just you know, out for thirty days, just living life. A lot of that money I wish I still had. I was just spending it, making it, spending it. Um, you know, a lot of you niggas out here, I done bust y'all on the dice. I done bust a lot of niggas out here on the dice around the world from hood to hood. Y'all know the deal. Um, <laughs> thanks for the donations. I done got busted too, though. But, you know, I remember I used to live off that. I used to pay rent off that, gambling. Most of the time I'm winning money I lose, I'ma come right back and get that shit and son. So, you know, that was the Man, we gonna, for we me. Man, gonna, we gonna get you on one of them notorious dice games at Gompers Park when you come down. That because, nigga said Gompers Park. Yeah, okay. we, gonna, we gonna get you in one of them dice games because that's what they do. That's what I do. I've been gambling since 11 years old. I used to get in trouble. Hey, so, okay. hey, hey, so if the homies, <coughs> hey, if y'all see this, I'm bringing her to the park and we splitting the profit when she break y'all niggas because I brought her there. <laughs> and I like to shoot hundreds, too. I oh, like yeah, to shoot yeah. hundreds. Anybody that know me out here in these streets that gamble, been gambling, I don't care where you from, Blood, Crip, East Side, West Side, Watts, you from Vegas on, back on down, from Texas. Like, God damn, you done broke all the Y'all know I'm not. I done, I done broke up a gang of dice games. I got a lot of fly gambling partners, been knowing for years. I like to gamble with people that I know, that I've been knowing for years. You know, I like that type of money, that old money. Yeah. And that's facts. Now, when we was hollering on the phone earlier, you said that you used to kick it with the homie J.O. when he used to come out here. Yeah, shout out to my boy J.O. I met J.O. coming to the hood. Vanga 40s. Cool people. So, so, so you met him around. I don't know what, what I don't know. Sometime in the nineties, over twenty years. Right, 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 for sure. Over twenty, over twenty-five. For sure, yeah. Shout out to the homie, man. Um, and here I am today. Right. So, <laughs> trying to think. <laughs> What's going on, man? So uh we getting into the to the to the to the 2000s now like what what what's going on with you cuz I know had you started getting locked up yet at this point cuz I know you had told me 
some other stuff you about, you know. Nah, 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 nah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, you know, when it come, it come with the streets, the hustling, all that. The haters. Yeah, Andy, like, so, 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 so when, so, so when, when did you touch the county or had you ever even touched Juvenile Hall or whatever? I went to Juvenile Hall, yes. I've been to Juvenile All Hall. All right, so we're going to back Shout it up. Shout out to Los Padrinos, AOP. I'd have been there. Been there from there to placement, yeah. Oh, I've see, I didn't know been. about placement. That's yes. what I'm saying. So we're going to back it on up. I've been to prison, too. Let's no, talk we, about no, it. No, I already know that part. Oh, okay. Let's go back to we, Juvenile we, Hall. Oh, yeah. So, so what Hall's. was that for? When, that was, when is the first? 90? I used to go for... Uh, I, I guess GTA. I wasn't still in the cars. I was just driving them. Joyriding. Joyriding. You park a vehicle in front of my house, I see it. I was jumping in that motherfucker. I was a teenager. I, I didn't have no car. That's how I learned how to drive. Right. That's how we all... <laughs> We always jumping in stolen cars. No. That's how we got around. I used to jump in them, though. Like, my mind, I used to jump in them like this was really my car. And it really was. It was really my car for the day or yeah. two days. For however long you was driving, it was yours. <laughs> you putting gas in it, you washing it. You didn't vacuum the motherfucker out. <laughs> hey, I know. Trust me. Hey, man, we is filling tanks up and all kind of shit. Man, they used to park them. I don't know why they picked my block to park them cars, though. I see that steering wheel, might have a little do rag, whatever. Man, I'm in this for the day. I'm walking down the street, probably trying to go to the store. I see me, I was curious. I was Look, jumping in there. And, and, and I'm quite sure the homies didn't see you riding by and some shit they stole. <laughs> on the best why I did. You smart. Didn't bring my shit back. You was smart. <laughs> Man, what the fuck she doing in my car? <laughs> Hey, they probably just, ain't no telling what a motherfucker didn't did in that car and you didn't Back jump then, in. Back then, I was young. My mind was not there at all. Right. So you went to Los Padrinos the first time for how long? Just a few months. What was that like? Boring, because you locked down all day. Right. Boring. They was, no freedom snacks. Right. Right. And, and just um, a little lighter from the county jail. <laughs> They just a little lighter from the county jail on how they little place ran. Because all that shit is locked down. So so when you when you went in there and lost Padrinos and you was from 40s, what, what was that like? What you mean, what was that like? What, what was it like? Was they tripping? No, not all little, 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 little bitches from mother? No. It, ain't, no. It, it wasn't like that? It wasn't that. I was too busy banging on the niggas. When you see them in church or uh, like... And Los Padrinos, the whole, they got this big ass window. It's probably like three of them. And I could be walking to like an office or a testing room. You see this window with this, you just know this the whole. Used to be banging on them dudes. It's like they could see you and you could see them. It's like no tent on this window. Right. <laughs> well, I see it didn't affect you graduating, so. Not at all. I got a high school diploma. Right. Um. And, and before you hit prison, had you just had any county trips just on some small shit? I'd have had a lot of county trips to where my county expired and they was like prison time. Oh, yeah, that happened to me. When you go there too many times, they're like, man, we tired of seeing you. Go ahead and take this two with half or 16 with half. I remember or... my first time. Uh, that was 2005. 2005 was my first time going to prison. And... I was on probation. I'm thinking I was finna. I think they. I thought they was gonna reinstate my probation. Or that lady was like, "Your county time and ran out. You going to prison?" I said, "Prison." I said, "Oh, this shit real." Right. And uh, what year was that? And how long did you do? That was 2005. I didn't get out till 2007. And what was that like? Did you run across any homegirls in there? Or? A lot of people from the streets that knew me. People know you from the county jail. And then I've been going to the county jail for a long time. So it's like. All right. So. um, My first time in the county, I was 18. Civil brand. Thugging. <laughs> I went to civil brand. Hey. <laughs> let, me, let me fill my shit up. You want some more? Yes. Yeah, we're going to take a drink break. That's how we do it on here. That's why I don't do interviews. I have casual conversations with friends and acquaintances. That's what we do on Hoodie from the Hood. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. I need to get a cigarette. I'm still on camera? Yeah. Oh, I'm still on camera. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> so, um, when you caught the case, when you went to prison, you ain't got to go too deep into it. Uh, what, what year was that? And, um, what, what happened? Dang. That was 2005. Oh, that was 2005 when you went to the prison? When pre I first went to prison. No, I'm talking about, didn't you go after that? After that first time? Yeah. Damn, you nosy. Yeah. I'm nosy. You told me this. Yeah. You, hey, you act like we ain't had a million conversations. Don't do but me I'm like that. But I'm just saying, like, you know <laughs> deep. You hey, so deep. Hey, 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 gang, I wouldn't be doing my due diligence as, uh, what, what's the girl name? Jalice, as she would say. Deep. I wouldn't be doing my due diligence if I didn't go deep. You go deep. Yeah, so... Uh, how long did you do on that term? Like I said, we ain't even got to get too much into that. How long did you do on that term? I didn't do 16 with half twice. Two with half twice. God damn. You done? Think about it. That's just how it was my mom. Actually, my first time when you was like, where did you go and when did you get out? I said 2005. I didn't get to get out 2007. I had a 16 with half there. Parole had a warrant. Vegas came and got me. Sent me to prison out there. Now, let's what happened to... It. Yeah, let, let's talk about it. What what the fuck happened to where they came and got you and took you to a whole nother state to go do some time out there? I swear to you. You be wilding out. I That's sold one... Hell no, nah, Vegas petty than a motherfucker. I sold one rock. They gave me 12 to 36 months. God, for one rock? That rock was so little. That rock, that shit looked like a nickel. I sold it for 20. Oh, God. And was I it undercover to, or informed? Undercover, no. What, what led you to Vegas? Was you living out there? Was you just... I was living out there. All right. Living out there, getting money out there. Living life out there. They had no kid. I was just, yeah. I was real grown. So, so what year did you have your son? 2012. Is that when you slowed down or did you slow down before no, that? I got out the pen 2011. A few more months, I was pregnant. Being nasty. Shout out to my son. <laughs> for shine. That's right. Uh, now my mama. For real mama. Let's so, talk about it. So, 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 how's that been for you, and how ha how has that helped you transition as far as you know? Because we always we are what we are. We from where we from, but it's gonna change you a little bit. Not even just that. A lot of stuff gonna change you. You get tired of going to jail. You, whatever the case is. Well, you know, I can't knock nobody. You know, you go hard in the paint sometimes. That type of shit come with that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I just got to think a little different and change some shit up. That's what's up. Stay focused. Humble. And just move smarter and wiser. Everybody make mistakes. I ain't going to knock nobody that been to jail. Who done got in trouble? No one's perfect. Just take one day at a time. So I gotta ask you a question, man. When did you run across my channel? How how you see that? Cause you don't even be on social media like that. YouTube. You was just on YouTube and you seen me pop up. What video was it? I don't remember. It was just a video. You got a lot of them. But what what made you click on the video? Did you know I was from the? Hood? I never clicked on it. You never I just watched it. I could turn this on right now. Oh, oh, it just on, go to the next and video. And it just show different shit. So and I'm in I the started algorithm. watching all the hood shit on there. And it's like, who these dudes? And, you know, and, you know, start doing my homework. And, you know, and I seen you at the hood day. Right. She said she saw me at hood day. I didn't see her. I was loaded. 
you mean I said I saw you? You say you saw me. Girl. I did. I did see you. With I know green you eyes, I saw I you. I know you did, but I'm saying I was loaded. Uh -huh. I was high. You know? wasn't that loaded, my nigga. <laughs> You was not that loaded. You yes, was standing I was. up. You wasn't sitting. Oh no, 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 no. What I mean by loaded, I don't mean like fucked up and I could be just like this and I'm fucked up, but you won't know it. So in my head, I was fucked up. I was I was looking like I was normal, but nigga, I was ready to go. And I had to drive back. Me. Not even the people I was with. I had to drive. So yeah, uh, it was a lot going on that night, man. I wish I could have stayed, but we gonna we gonna make sure this year it's uh it's more lit, man. I might have to get a room or something. I'm gonna sleep on this big comfy couch right here or something, nigga. You funny. <laughs> you real funny. <laughs> he funny. I sleep on that floor right there, man. Oh. Nah, but um. So extra. Nah, but uh. What was I gonna say? Yeah, what was you gonna say? I don't know. You could bring Same up. You. you could bring up something too. Oh yeah, you. you. <laughs> tell, hey, tell. Hey, it's a conversation, not an interview. It's a two-way street. Tell me what you want to tell me. God bless to everyone. This man is crazy. Nah, you crazy? Cause I know what you want to do. <laughs> don't do it. I'm just saying. What are you taking? Man, come on, man. I'm over here chilling, sipping on my champagne. I'm at home. Shout out to everybody that's at home, chilling on their couch. Wipe them walls down. You sneak a bed. Nah, but the background um. background gotta look nice and clean. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Can't have no roach or flies buzzing around. <laughs> So what you uh what you got coming up? I already told you you need to make a channel. I do. They're not ready for that. The world's not ready for that right now. Shit, man, you never know, man. Uh the Fodies got the uh the ball right now. Let me think about that. Yeah, the Fodies got the ball, man. I don't know if you've been paying attention. I know you be in your own world, but Yeah, I do. You probably need to jump into this uh this thing we got going on. Hey. This show start right now. As a matter of fact, let me know in the comments if y'all want her to start the channel. Oh, that's yeah. how we gonna go. That's a good one. That's how we gonna do it. Who think I'll be good at that? Look, tap, like, subscribe, hit that, that yeah. button. Yeah, all that. Now, what you say earlier? What I say? What you say what your son be saying, but you made it for you? Oh, it's your girl, China Loco. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, there we Wait go. That right there. It's your girl trying to loco with a banger. Back with another banger. Back with another banger. Well, he be he doing reactions. Like, he do all that. He funny. Yeah, he, tell, he got tell the character. People, tell the people what your son do. You say he do something else with the. Uh, My son, he dance for Rocco the Clown. Shout out to the League of Clowns. They do birthday parties. They do it all. They do parades. We got the. King Parade coming up next month, Martin Luther King Day. They going up and they gonna show out. Shout out to Rocco and the Leader Clowns. I, I want to talk about the King Parade because um we have one too in Dago. There, okay. there, there's no Martin Luther King Street or Boulevard or whatever, and, but it was called that. And it okay. went through Southeast San Diego, went through Imperial Euclid, I think Logan Avenue, like Lincoln Park, really, but borderline our hood. Why they take that down? You know why. Why? I don't know why. Shit. They took it down because we still have it. Oh, did they ever take it away and bring it back? It used to be Santa Barbara back in the day. And now it's King Boulevard. Because my granny lived between King and Vernon on 2nd. Right. So, yeah. I used to have to walk out our house on King to watch the parade. As yeah, we know. don't we don't got no King Boulevard. We have Martin Luther King Park and and, um, and a Martin Luther King Freeway. No, I didn't ask you that. I I'm just, just saying. The street that where the King Parade at? It's on Imperial, Imperial uh, and Euclid, or was. Um, like I was telling you before we started recording, they going on play that shit, man. Like they give us a little something, we fuck it up, they take it away. Got it. 
They might try to bring you back. Look, it's an area called National City, Highland, Highland Avenue. That's where they did all the low riding back in the day. Do you know that low riding been banned since 1992? Oh, wow. They just brought it back, I think, I want to say last year for like one day. Then they banned it again. Then I think they might have brought it back. But they, they don't, any type of gang gathering, they shutting it down all the way. Oh, wow. So the, the, the Martin Luther King Parade and the Encanto Street Fair, which is over by Skyline, they shutting that down. It's too much gang activity. Niggas getting jumped, knocked out, shot. Innocent bystanders getting hurt. They shutting that down. They not about to keep allowing us to do that. So, like y'all go crazy like Oakland. Yeah, y'all go crazy too, but they keep letting y'all do it. They let y'all do it. They shut us down like, oh, y'all not doing that. We can go Crenshaw whenever we want to go on Crenshaw and park a lowrider and just hang out and then other people start coming. You see, the be a line of just lowriders, bikes, and on Sunday is their day that they come out and just all day. Now, we, we still could have the lowrider gatherings. I'm saying Highland specifically you can't do it you could do it at Famar, you could do it in spring valley you could do it in chula vista they not tripping off them got it, got but it. if you think you're going to do it in certain areas the shit i was telling you about the 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 parade the martin luther king parade and all that mm. that was in southeast that's on what we call the four corners of death they shut all that down there's nothing going on no more period mm. too much going on it, it like last year they had the little juneteenth yeah, the thing. No, that was this year for Juneteenth. Some shit happened. You think they gonna let us do that again? And it's in a white area. We had some. We had that. And we had that in our area. I was here. Oh, you That's the last that? time I was here on Juneteenth. You came to that where they had the stage on Dagman and all the homies was. Uh, okay, I was out there. Well, as a matter of fact, now let me take that back. Juneteenth was on the Sunday. We was here Saturday, the day before. But it turned into Juneteenth because we was here till like one, two in the morning. But. That's the last Did time I was go here. to the festivities? When we got there, the homies had just whooped on some niggas. Uh, or a nigga. Uh. <laughs> yeah. As soon as we pulled up, there's like, nigga, we just whooped on a nigga from. I ain't even going to say where he's from. But, yeah, they had just beat the brakes off somebody. So we came fresh when, you know. That's what I'm saying. Like, our city shut it down so fast. If they see any type of, this about to be a gang gathering. It was just a club called Chefs. I think it was black owned and all that. Certain shit happened. They shut that down. I don't even think they was open a year. Can't do nothing. Yeah, nah, man. San Diego don't play that shit. But we still do it. We're going to find a way. So let's go back to the King Parade. Do you know what year they started doing that? No. They've been doing it your whole life? That I can remember? Yes. So what was that like? Tell me tell me about the average day at the King Parade and what was going on. You know, you were... <laughs> I just want to know. Everybody outside, niggas getting pressed, where you from, everybody want to walk the King Parade. Well, you know, you're walking through different hoods, so niggas was... How far does it stretch? It stretched a long way. It's a long little walk if you want to walk the whole parade. From That's what I'm saying. Is it is it is it from the 110 to Crenshaw? No, Crenshaw. The um, shit done changed now. I want to say it is on Vermont. I want to say now, if it even go that far. Over the years, there's so much shit that is you know. Certain so from they... Vermont to what? Crenshaw. That's a distance. But now, it's from I guess Vermont. All the way up into Lamert Park. That's how it's been going for the last few years. Into Lamert Park. It didn't used to do that back in the day. It'll go straight to Crenshaw. Probably farther than that. Probably up. Probably farther than that. Shit didn't change over the years. Right. Cause we fuck shit up. My son in the um, parade this year. He been in it for the last few years. Cause he been dancing four years, so I'm excited for him. He gonna be happy. So when you go up there to support your son, you still see the old elements of when you was a kid. How do you feel about that now, being a mom? Like, do you be like, damn, I wish these niggas knew how to act. I know back in the days you didn't give a fuck, but now that you got a son and he a part of it, does that make you be like, these niggas need to go somewhere else with that shit? 
Or do you be like, it is what it is? It is what it is. See, that's why, that's why I fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. I can't control everybody right. because it's kids. I mean, like, these are grown people, so if it all go bad, just take responsibility of your, you know. But I'm saying, does it make you... I be like, it's Does sad. it make you not want your son a part of that parade because you know that um, the elements... I never really tripped off that. No, I don't want to, like... No, because where it ain't been that bad since he been in the parade, so. So it didn't calm down a lot. Yes. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Um, can you give us one story about the King Parade? What story you want? You I don't know. Sad. Something you seen? Give me one story that a you. A good scene or a bad scene? Bad. That I seen. Yeah. Some shit that didn't happen up there at the King Parade, like a squabble, a riot, something. That happens on course. Like the, everybody see that they're standing out there. Even the police, if they out there, they they see that. So why you want that story? I don't want the story. The Hillam gang want the story. I know they gonna ask. I can't give y'all everything y'all want. Nah, man. See that? That's why you need to start a channel. And see, all right. So you could get it. You 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 gonna you gonna, you gonna get the stories on your channel. You don't want to give it on my channel. You didn't smoke that weed, man. <laughs> Look. Hey, that's, that why, hey, that's why I told you I'm going to smoke when I'm done with the interview, man. That's why I didn't smoke yet. But, um, I'm chilling. I'm mellow. You chilling, man. Well, shit, man. What else you got for us, man? What else you going to let the people know about China? Oh, China released the Bible. Wait a minute. She about to get the Bible. You know they about to click out the video, man. I can't pull the Bible out? I mean, shit, they might, they might stay, they might leave. It depends. I ain't finna read the Bible. I'm just gonna show the Bible. What? That's what's going on with you. That too. Like it's been going on with me since a kid. I actually grew up in the church house. Don't do that. Well, what else? I'm <laughs> My saying, granny what, used to make me go to church. What, el what else? Then is, I stopped going. What else is going on with China in 2023? What, what can we expect from you, man? Is you gonna start the channel? Is we gonna do a part two in the part? Fo, like what, 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 what's going on? Yes, we are. We're going to do a lot of channels. Right now, I'm over here just, you know, just trying to take one day at a time. <laughs> this nigga high. <laughs> trying to take one day. I know what I'm saying, though. Oh, you yeah. act like I'm like, come on now. You know I'm a shit starter, man. I see. I see you are. Me, one day at a time, stay in my lane. Um, Please don't stay too focused on me. Please don't. Everybody just need to worry about themselves and do them and mind their business. And your dad go a little easy. Just mind your business and stay in your lane. You're going to be all right if you do that. Stay in your lane. Mind your business. You're going to be all right. That part. That's all people got to do. Mind their business. They minding their business. They ain't doing too much talking. Stay in your lane. And your day should go real good. Because everybody got the what? Same 24 hours. Thank you. Is that, is that what you leaving them with? Yeah. Is this over? <laughs> this nigga. If you want it to be. No. I'm just, you know. I'm asking. If I don't ask, I don't know. I'm a cancer. I love to talk. Man. I just like to spit that real. Like a crispy dollar bill. This nigga, man. Hey, look. Hey, hey, Hillam gang. <laughs> hey, she didn't smoke that weed, man. I, that's why I didn't smoke with you. Look, she didn't, I'm about to get high, though. She didn't smoke that weed. Uh, You know, it's my partner, man. Let I'm me know if y'all if y'all want her to start a channel in the comments. Um, If y'all got any more questions, like I said, we coming back with a whole... This a little series. This just part one. So... We gonna slide over there next time, uh, and then when she she coming to Dago, she gotta come to Dago for show sure, for show. Sure. That's gonna be the part three series, and we gonna keep this going. So y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Uh, if y'all got any questions for the homegirl, I promise you I will ask her next time.
So with that being said, man, it's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big O N, and I'm out.